shoot that back one. That back one. Got him. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm freaking out, man. So happy for you. Yes. You guys, are you recording me? Yeah. It's finally here. Well, it's not actually finally here. Tomorrow is finally here. Today's the day before it's finally here. I'm on my New Mexico elk hunt. We're in Marty's truck. Sing is a freaking rig. Marty, can your truck be on videotape? That's fine, just don't put any uh, license plates on it. <laughs> no license plates here. Um, we're gonna go out scouting. We're gonna, I think we're gonna hit a gas station and get a cup of coffee or something first. We can just go see what we can see. And uh, tomorrow's opening day, so stick with us. We're gonna go take a look. Cut. See that? Cut. Sun's just getting up. We got up here like right at the exact perfect time. Um, we're just, it's like elk here, elk there, elk there. The closest elk we've spotted so far is probably about like 1,500 yards, 2,000 yards, and it was just a bull. And it looked like there was another elk below him. Um, but we're seeing elk like two miles away. And let me tell I don't know how many times I'm going to say this on this trip, but this country is gnarly. We're, we're doing a beautiful sunrise right now. Matt spotted like a little harem of cows up on his bald knob, which is plain for you right now. But yeah, today's just all about classing and kind of getting familiar with the country. We're just going to keep looking, and uh, hopefully we see some more bulls. Matt, how do you feel? I like the way things are happening. <laughs> I like the way things are happening. That's right. I mean... Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, have we introduced this video? You guys introduced this video this morning? A little bit. Well, like I said, welcome back. Uh, Matt and Logan went out with Marty this morning and did a little scouting. Um, Logie likes how things are going, he said. And so we had to get out of our Airbnb and check into a new one, and we can't get in there till 4 to drop all our stuff. So we went and had some lunch, and now we're out in the field, and we're going to shoot the rifle, make sure Logie feels confident, make sure the gun is on, and... Uh, then go from there. I think the plan tonight is to go drop our stuff up off at the new place and then go divide and conquer. I think these guys might go back to the same spot and me and Brian might go check out another area because tomorrow morning is opening morning and you only get what Matt? So many opening mornings. You nailed it. Guys he nailed it. Woo! Woo! That's, yeah! That's Marty. <laughs> That's Marty. Pumping fists. I about freaking ran right into the back of you. That's KC. It came up fast on me there. There's Brian. I was like, oh shit, I'm glad you turned straight back, dude. I thought that's how Chris Kyle did it. Yeah, uh, straight back. Figure four. Chris Kyle does figure four. There's uh, Marty. Uh, <laughs> Marty broke out of the machete and cleared the grass for you. Sorry. How you feeling, Kyle? Dangerous. Dangerous. Dangerous, huh? Okay. That's like the greatest thing you can say. I love shooting guns. Alright. Yep. You're squeezing really good, man. Yeah. I'll do it. Well, it is the night before opening day. We are at an Airbnb, which is, we don't do this a lot. I hunt out of an Airbnb, but it makes the most sense. We want to stay mobile. Want to be able to go to different parts of the unit and uh, Logan. I put Logan on the, the job of getting us an Airbnb and it panned out really well. So we're doing some burgers tonight, which will be bought at Walmart. And then tomorrow we'll leave here about 5:45 and uh, get into the location we want to be at. Uh, they saw a lot of elk this morning. Uh, we just need to identify if it's a big bull. What, what's our, Logue, what's your thoughts on 
What, what are we going to shoot opening morning? Do something that gets me really excited. Like it. it. Gets the group excited. We have five days. This unit is known to have a lot of a lot of bulls, a lot of elk. These guys saw a lot of bulls this morning, so uh, we're not going to get in a big hurry. We're just going to look through, like take inventory of what's out there, and uh, hopefully get Logan a bull that he's super happy with. First, first elk hunt he's ever had, so uh, it might not take much. We'll see what happens. Those. These are the Hanwag Alverstones. What'd you just say? <laughs> they look similar. They look all pretty lightweight, dude. Yeah, they're not bad, man. I love these boots. These are my new favorite boots. I'll take this so you guys can see me. I'll take this so you can hear me. <laughs> Trailhead. Six, almost 6.30 on the dot. Um, there's a truck or two here, or four or six or eight. A couple horse trailers, some horses, a couple campers. Big, big trail system. We came to show them how to do it. We though. came to show them how to do it, huh, Marty? Yes, sir. We're gonna hop on the trail. Um, Brian and Casey are gonna be glassing from where we were yesterday morning. Just kind of our eyes in the sky. Stay, uh, stay in contact with them. We're gonna try to go get close to that last group of bulls we saw. We got kind of a hike ahead of us. What is it like? Two miles. Two thousand vertical feet. About two thousand vertical feet. Two miles. So, hope you brought your boots and uh, strap them up. And follow along. It's opening day. You only get so many of them. Woo! <laughs> We good? Guys, welcome back to the program. Nice to have you. We call this opening day. And we also say that there's you only get so many opening days. This is the opening day of Logie Bear's very first ever elk hunt, which is super exciting. He was lucky enough to draw a New Mexico big bull rifle tag through the guided pool. So the way New Mexico works, it has two different pools. You can just put in as a regular, draw or you can speak with a guide and put in through the guided pool and sometimes you have a better chance of, of drawing through the guided pool sometimes not but anyway he drew a freaking rad elk tag and so we've got uh one of compass west guides with us for a couple days down here logie bear matt and marty are out in the field right now me and brian our plan is to get on the big glass so what we we always call it the big glass that means just sitting back at a bigger at a longer range and glassing big country we might not be able to identify all the elk that we see hopefully we see some elk but we will be able to tell where the majority of elk are at and kind of what they're doing hopefully we'll be able to see some bulls and can identify them but um and then we'll meet up with those guys later and kind of go over what we saw what they saw we're trying not to get logan too excited today because they were out scouting yesterday yesterday morning they went out me and brian had some stuff to do in town and they saw a lot of elk uh, upwards of, I heard a number of 80, I think. Anyway, they saw some bulls. Bulls got Logan excited, but we really want to just like take some inventory for a day or two and see what this unit has to offer. Um, currently trying not to run over an elk right now. We've had two herds run right in front of my truck. One, I had to apply the brakes pretty, pretty quickly. Got the whole heart pounding. About, about tagged Logan out first thing. Little trailer. Anyway, so that's the plan, guys. This should be a super fun hunt. Um, I'm stoked for Logan. First ever elk tag. He's never killed an elk. He's never had a tag. So we're going to we're heading up to a big glassing point where we're going to see a whole bunch of country. So come come along with us. Come enjoy this hunt with us. Got a gun on my back. It's opening day, and I'm with Marty in the wild and Maddie Ice Start behind the camera. Just the boys. It's a little bit chilly. <sighs> We're going in. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, let's go.
ton of country. This is some big country too, real steep, but it's very classable. This is where Logan and Marty and Matt were yesterday. So they're gonna be in closer to where they were seeing the bulls. Our job's gonna see big picture and see exactly where the majority of these elk are. This is cool though, opening day. I'm gonna get all set up. I packed a bunch of stuff up here because I'm probably gonna sit up here all day in glass. I brought a chair, no big deal. Did you bring a chair, Brad? I did not bring a chair. Ah, bummer deal, dude. I might let you use mine a little bit. Um, yeah, I got spotter. I've got my uh, death grip that I can put my binos in. We're gonna look at some country. Well, we've been on the glassing knob for maybe 10 minutes, uh, and it's almost comical. Like, every direction you look, you're like, there's an elk, there's an elk. There's more elk. There's no shortage of elk in this area. It's pretty special to draw some of these like more difficult coveted tags, you know, compared to like your typical general over-the-counter hunts that we do all the time. When you're just like grinding and out, it's so hard to sometimes turn up elk. These ones are pretty special, I gotta tell you. Uh, Casey and I are pretty far away from uh, where Logan and Matt and those guys are, so I don't think we're gonna be much value from that standpoint, but really we're looking for just like other elk closer that we could potentially turn up as like a plan B um, and just have like a bigger eyes on the landscape but we are uh, very very excited for Logie Bear you guys some of you guys may know this some of you might not but after he graduated high school I think this was maybe 2013 he took off like the whole fall followed Casey around and uh, filmed like a bunch of stuff for us way back in the day so he's been a part of the Hush brand for a long long time and then more officially became like a full-time employee i think in 2018 i want to say so huge huge valuable asset to our team he's incredibly talented he's really upped like our creative skills uh, the quality of our videos our production and just overall a super fantastic human we love him like a brother he is casey's brother and couldn't be more excited so we got more tags in his hand this year he's had an antelope tag he had a caribou tag in alaska now he's got this elk tag and i think that's the goal of hush as we continue to hopefully you know grow and continue to you know build this brand is get logie bear and matt more involved in not only shooting stuff with the camera but also holding more tags in their hands uh, and really just spreading the love man this is a team effort those guys work super hard and um, anyways this is gonna be a really fun hunt so we're gonna keep on glassing the sun's just cresting over the first mountain hopefully we can turn up a really good mature bull that gets Logie Bear excited. No, his third just goes like way out. He comes back. Yeah, in. his fronts and his third is all I could see by that tree, and he they look huge. Do you see both of them? I was watching that top one first. That lower one looks better, bigger bodied. Yeah, they're both. He's broken off at his third. Yeah. On his right side, the lower one. Yeah, he's missing half a beam. Giant third on his left, just a five though.
the hill. Well, not the hill, a hill. Climbing all morning. Seen a lot of elk. Heard a lot of shots. And uh, it's currently nine o'clock right now. Our other boys are in position. They can't see us from where they're at, but they're saying they, they're seeing tons of elk. There's lots of elk in here. Um, just chowing down right now on a uh, tasty cake. This was a staple when I was a younger kid. Hunting with my dad all the time. Dude, I'd eat like three of these a day. All cherry. Leave a, leave a comment if you guys can relate to the old pocket pies, I call them. We're in some pretty sick country. This is definitely a change from where we were at. Real rugged, steep, open, gnarly. It's like just looking across, like you see a bowl across a canyon. It's like you gotta drop down a thousand feet, 1200 feet, and then right back up 1200 feet. But we're seeing lots of elk, so it's a good sign. It's opening day, and uh, my man Marty in the wild here. He's a member of the Booney Bros. He's got his Booney cap on. I don't have my Booney cap. We have some bulls located way up high in a big basin. And they're far and high, but uh, Marty said he thinks he saw some good ones, so we're just gonna sit here for a while, scope it out, and then uh, we'll let you know. But pocket pies for the win. Big man Matt also has one. He went with apple. The biggest one's going over right now. Oh, he stopped. He just went over. Oh, bulls. Did you get good video? Yeah. You just get them all going up and over? You don't like this right here? Dude, there's one good one. Oh, dude, that, dude one. that back one. That back one's big. Six, I got one, two, three, five oh five five oh five. Goes to ten, maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah. That last one was big. Yep. No, that's not the last one. Well that's the big one I was talking about. Yeah, I got another five or six coming through. Uh-huh. Up over there. Holy cow, guys. We just hit a pocket of a healthy herd of bulls. I think I saw maybe two or three cows. The rest were all bulls. The one with the big fits, big royals, and big beams. Chew him. Look at all that horn going through there. <laughs> that was a bull show, dude. Bull show. It happened quick. I don't know. I don't know if they scented us or smelled us. I don't know if. I don't think they, now the wind's blowing that way. I didn't think my sauce or something, but one went, two went, three went. It was such a big group, I think one got spooky and they all went. Cause look, they're not even running. They're just moving out. No, that's why we're still in, we gotta keep our voices down, but they just wrapped around this. So I think we're still in a good, uh, good spot where we can wrap around this knob and maybe they'll, you know, they could either bail down, but there's not a lot, of, there's not a ton of thick stuff over there. It was a big burn. So maybe we'll be able to see him, but holy cow, that was cool. We got the gun out, 500. I would say like a 7.9 out of 10 on the setup of it. I felt pretty dang sturdy. I saw a log, threw my pack on, got my gun on the log. 
dialed the turret and checked my bubble and I just kind of held on the elk. I didn't want to shoot because there were some trees and branches kind of that would have been in the path of the bullet, but things happened fast. And we just saw a, we saw a big, big group of elk. Brian just texted, he said, what the heck happened? All the elk blew out. Tell them those aren't the elk we're going after yet. Uh, things just happened. We finally were able to locate the guys and see where they were at. Um, Marty purposely wore an orange hat so we could hopefully pick them up. And we finally found them. They were right where we thought they were. So we was telling Logan that we'd seen a bunch of elk going to this canyon, at right kind of where they were at. And all of a sudden, we started picking up elk in that canyon again. They were going to go take a look at it. And then all of a sudden, all that, there was probably 30 elk in there. Mostly looked like all bulls just came piling out of there. That canyon, so something happened. Logie either got a shot or like they got winded or something happened. But uh, we're just waiting to hear. Hopefully good news is what we're hoping for. But we're just watching the elk, man. They can cover so much country. Hello? Yeah, what, what's the deal? We saw the elk bounce out. Uh, we came up right on top of them. Any shots fired? We got set up on them, but just never stopped to give us a shot. There was two shooters in there. Okay. So now we're just running over that next peak where they just wrapped around. Dude, they're moving up that big meadow into that next peak. Just too far and there's no no way 
not bad. No, it's not. I don't think so. The one that's beating in that flat. Six on one side and five on the other. His head's down right now. Alright guys, it's the uh, 12.30 afternoon update. Casey and I have been up here since first light. We just moved to a better spot that's like got a little shade here, starting to get cooked. But uh, Matt, Logie, and Martin uh, were able to relocate the elk that they blew out. So they've oh. gained quite a bit of elevation. Jeez. We can see them from like way, way over there. Just a couple of dots. But basically, um, they found where the elk went in. It sounds like they joined up with a bunch of other elk. Supposedly, like a ton of elk are over there. We just got a message that said, uh, big bull spotted moving in. And we can just barely see him kind of gaining some elevation up in this little slot. Been an exciting morning. We're kind of out of play, to be honest. Like, we can see that they're elk, but we can't tell what the heck they are. It's just too, too dang far away. But we certainly have like a good wide angle picture of what's going on. Their plan worked out really solid, man, to be honest. Like, the scouting they did yesterday led them to where they were this morning. Um, and they were in the mix. They saw a lot of elk. Uh, the uh, original bigger bull they were trying to go after, someone, another hunter, it sounds like, either got a shot at it or it spooked. They, were, they saw it at like 900 yards for a second, and it was running right at first light. So, uh, fortunately, they turned up some other ones, and they're up there. It's uh, crazy, crazy big country, much different than last week's hunt uh, with uh, myself and Adam. Much more mountainous terrain, but super cool, seeing a lot of elk. So, hoping Logie Bear gets a good shot opportunity on one of these bulls. You on him recording? Yep. Get ready. No wind. Calling for no wind. Hold on the brown of his neck. Okay, I'm gonna wait till he turns his head, right? Yep. Bubble is level, parallax is good.
and just sees the grass barely moving up there. Ready? Yep. Ready. Hit him. Hit him. Yeah. Hit him a little left. Reload. Yeah, hit him left. Hold, hold him hold right on his more. neck. Hold on his neck. You got him. He's rolled. Stay on him. He just dropped. He just yeah, dropped. he could get back up. Stay on him. Stay on him. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cry. <laughs> How far was that? 580? 580. Yeah. You think he's dead? I think he's dead. I've dude. seen him get back up before, but he definitely rolled. He's a cool bull, dude. Yeah, or just push it down into the... I'm just going to put it on safety. How is he not answering his phone right now? Dude! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god. If that wasn't the coolest elk hunt. You are called. Oh my gosh, dude. Look where we're at. Look at where we are at right now. Yeah, yeah. I hope we have horses, dude. <laughs> Give me some, Marty. Oh yeah, bud. Congratulations. Oh, oh, boy. Ah. I'm freaking out, man. So happy for you. <laughs> yes. We, we're as deep as you can go, bro. Where are you exactly? Top of that basin. Just ten, literally the top of the tallest mountain you see. Ten, ten yards below the skyline, <laughs> there's a dead bull. We have saw over, this is the best day of my life. You see all those bulls squirt out? We saw over a hundred, like over a hundred bulls today. In just oh. in that canyon. I'll drop okay. you a pin. We'll drop you a pin. It's gonna, I don't know if you guys want to hike in here. Yeah, tell him to call Geico and get some horses. I'll call Geico right now. You're gonna want to get on it. If you guys hike in, it's gonna be like four hours. Yeah, I was gonna say the plan might be best if you guys just like take care of the elk, get it cut up, and then we'll try to see if we can get mules or something. Holy, you guys are up there. 582 yards, dead bull. How big? How big? There was a really pretty six next to him. Dude, we saw all sorts of bulls, man. This bull has like a, how big is that second? Like 20. Like a 20 inch, 18 inch, 20 inch second. Big five point his one's almost doesn't done. he's probably not going to score super well but dude he was my favorite okay we just got done cool. dude, that's awesome and, and they are in a hell no. um, <laughs> yeah. well some things happened guys um i'll tell you what happened logan matt and marty just worked their freaking tails off to kill a bull elk and they killed a stud i'm not kidding they climbed probably upwards of 2700 feet vert in like probably just over five miles to get this bull killed. He, they killed this bull in the very highest place they could kill without going over the top of the mountain. It's insanity what they did. Hats off to them. Unfortunately, me and Brian are not, and there's no way we'll get up there before dark. So plan is, we were, we were the guys down here making the plans. The plan is they're gonna cut it, hang it tonight. It's supposed to get down to about 30 degrees tonight, which would be perfect. And then we have mules coming in tomorrow to go go get the elk meat so thankful for for mules that's for sure but what a freaking rad day man i know logan was just jacked out of his mind absolutely jacked out of his mind he worked his tail off a lot of you guys don't know this brian don't even think knew this until today but about three months ago i noticed this change in logan and uh started eating really healthy started uh, going to the gym every morning um started living a healthier lifestyle and uh i was talking to him about it and he goes i just want to be in the very best shape to go on that elk hunt it's my first elk hunt i don't want like me not mail to hike or whatever you know which logan's always been in good shape but uh so it was really cool to see man he earned it and uh all that hard work he put in definitely helped him get up on the mountain today uh me and brian were just you know wishing that we could have been there but we did everything we did what we thought would help him the most and that's to glass the big country and we at the end of the day we helped him find the elk again so can't wait to put my arms around logan and tell him how proud i am of him and uh just relive it with him watch the videos tonight and so super stoked for for logie bear he he worked hard for us for a long time does an amazing job same with matt i think maybe we should be getting matt attack one of these days to just let him know how much we appreciate him so anyway uh we're gonna head back and uh, all they asked for is some cold drinks left at the truck and a uh, warm dinner when they get back so we're gonna go take care of that all right ladies and gentlemen that's it i'm tagged out in new mexico that's six bulls in New Mexico, six for six. 
Um, I remember drawing this tag back this summer, the first time ever putting in for New Mexico, and uh, pulled it. I pulled the tag. It's Dude. the first elk tag I've ever had in my pocket. He's right there. And I was beyond excited. That's a I dead knew bull. that like, just, it was nice to have two hunts before my hunt to kind of look at the, look at what bulls were running around and then get over to my area and see what bulls were running around. But day one, day one wonder, couldn't let it go. We have had a heck of a day. We were literally about as high as you can get. And uh, got a shot, saw probably over 40 bulls. No, no exaggeration there. Something hit in the air and they were all bugling. Got the whole experience. There was a moment there where we were on this like flat rock just looking at this deep, deep canyon. It was probably 450 straight across, 450 yards, but probably easily 1,500 to 2,000 foot all the way to the bottom. And there were just everywhere you pointed your binos, elk, 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 elk. Look at this bull, look at this bull. I saw this bull down there. Um, I love big five points and uh, I couldn't pass him up after the day we had. And uh, just for the memory's sake, and uh, it worked out, we got him down 582 yards and here lies a dead bull. He was kind of in a cluster up there, a bunch of cat claws. Maddie, Maddie sacrificed some skin. I sacrificed some skin. Marty here, he's holding the reflector. He's been a trooper, he sacrificed some skin, but we got the bull propped up safely. It's so steep, we were worried he was gonna go to the bottom. But luckily, there's a little tiny landing here that we were able to roll and slide him down to, so we're gonna break him down and uh, just get to work. But uh, I couldn't be more excited. This has been an amazing experience, and uh, one that I will always remember. So thank you guys for watching. I'm sure Maddie will have some sick stuff of us cutting him up and stuff, but uh, I just wanna thank you guys uh, for all the support and uh, appreciation that you guys give to us, the love. It's awesome scene. Um, and I'm just on top of the world, literally. <laughs> done it. We're done.